plus versus pro, pro plus versus pro. I think those are the similar cameras. Could be. Let's continue. Let's continue. Wide angle. And why then Google this camera has only full HD performance? Ah. And the main lens is of course 4K. There you go. Yeah, let's switch to a main lens. Well, do we see any difference? That is the question. It would be nice if I had some colors. There's not too much colors in here. Okay, red. Oh. Losing focus. Okay, now it's okay. By the way, autofocus test. There is no autofocus in wide angle. In wide angle, so there's no point to do that. struggling which one is that okay the plus version is struggling a little bit okay now it's fine in close-up don't call me now <laughs> sorry someone is calling me so uh, the audio test also really that's 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 the sound all right let's continue Very similar. Identical. It's all the same. Pictures. That's the difference. 200 versus 50. That's what you're paying for, for, for the plus. If you're buying a plus, that's what you're paying for. 200 megapixel pictures. Pro 50 megapixel on the right plus 200 megapixel on the left. See the colors are more yellowish on the Pro version. Look at the building. It's more yellowish. And it's quite darker. Look at the tree. Anyway, if we zoom a tiny bit maybe it's not a tiny bit but I don't know, I don't see the difference at all. At least on 55 inch OLED TV, which I'm using to record this video. If we zoom further, can we zoom like a lot? Oh yeah, over sharpening image on the Pro 50 megapixel. It looks quite better on the fi on 200. Can we go even closer? Wow. You already can see the pixels on the nose. Look, look at the nose. There's a lot of pixels. Oh, yeah. 50 megapixel and 200. That's the difference. If, if we go extreme. There you go. There you go. Extreme 200 versus 50. That's the difference. But in, re in real life, I'm going to make those some kind of zooms like that for what, what will be the purpose of that. Anyway, let's continue. Can we read this plate? Okay, this is in Polish, so you won't you won't understand it anyway. But it's unreadable in fifty, barely readable in two hundred, barely. Regulamin wybierz dla psów, wybieg jest miejscem przeznaczonym do odbywania, and so on, so on. For I can't read that. I won't able. I'm, I'm not able to read this. This is just blob. But when we zoom out, look look at the difference between the 200 megapixel. And now it's more yellowish, so it's other way around now. And more natural color on 50. Hmm. Let's move on. But this time. To a city and 
But same deal. Look at the sky. More yellowish on the 200. Can we read that sign? www.opclane.com On 200, yes. On 50, uh, it's unreadable. It's a big blob. You can see the pixels. So there you go. But if we zoom out like this. They both look good. Let's move on. And now something um, something strange. 200 megapixel lens blur too much of the, don the, the donut. Like half of the donut, maybe less than half of the donut is blurred, which is not ideal. And 50 megapixel make a tremendously good job. Only the background is blue and the donut is sharp. All right. Let's continue to a cheesecake, and uh, with the cheesecake, okay, this is the other way around. Sorry for that. Okay, this is other, okay, okay. And with the cheesecake, now the blur, the 50 megapixel pro version blurred. Really good. It it cut out all uh, uh, that cheesecake nicely, but I think it blurred too much. It's not natural. 200 megapixel looks more natural. <laughs> I'm not a fan of uh, that uh, that amount of blur on the picture. It's uh, it's too much, but this is a personal preference. If we zoom in, both look almost identical. Like almost. Prefer 200. Let's continue to uh, colors. More vibrant colors on the 50 megapixel pro. So again, other way around, which is really strange. I I use auto mode. You cannot use manual mode in, two, in 200 me megapixels. I didn't find any option to, to do it manually um, to change the colors or something to set some, I don't know, different light on the 200 megapixels, there's nothing there. At least I, I didn't found it. That's why I use auto mode in both of them. So that's... This is how it looks like. All right, and I think I make a mistake there because uh, 50 megapixel pro is very dark and a bit blur so I'm, I'm, I may be I don't know I, I move the camera or something but way brighter on 200 both looks very nice can we read that 50 and 200 unreadable in 200 readable in 50, which is quite bizarre. Hmm. What about down there? Same. Well, it is barely readable. Ledowe. It, it means lead lightning. Oświetlenie ledowe. It means lead lightning. And But this is on 50 megapixel on the right. 200 on the left, which is unreadable. There's like, there's nothing there to read. Hmm, quite strange. But that's what it is. And let's continue. Just two more. All right. Let's zoom in. And then we can see the 50 megapixel pro version is over sharpening that image greatly. Look at the boards. They are very, very sharp. You can see that sharpness. Look at the pixels and yeah, it's over sharpening image. It's crazy. It doesn't look natural at all. 200 megapixels is making a fantastic job in here. It's a huge difference. There you go. And the last one, which is Colors. Let me get those colors. Uh, okay. 
looks identical. Well, more vibrant on the 50 megapixel. Look at the pole, it's like bloody rad. Red, so sorry, my English is not that great. Uh, but if we zoom in, it's still oversharpening that image, the pro version. Cold grass, look at the grass, and look at the 200, which is un, uh, not in focus. And 50 is in focus, the pro one. So I think it's oversharpened greatly. Look at the pole, look, look at that pole. It looks way better on the 200 megapixel. Yes. And that's all I have for pictures. Which one looks better? Well, let me know in the comment below. 